the world is changing, and that changing, that change is, is, is a common thing now. Um, we've got to adapt. Our kids, the students are changing all the time. They bring in new technologies in the classroom. As teachers, we need to be aware of that happening and perhaps harness um, uh, some of it to improve engagement in, in our lessons. We, in our school, most of our students have two or three devices they bring in school tablets, couple of uh, uh, phones. We've got to be aware of that, we've got to use it. I think the open discovery space is not the only program out there, um, but it is different. It allows you to upload your data and also allows you to share it with people from across the European Union, where in England, for example, where I come from, where I work, we would probably be leaning towards using tests instead of ODS, because the tests is, is fine-tuned to what English teachers need. What I'm arguing is that we need to keep an eye on what is happening outside of our, our borders and, and again, perhaps inspire ourselves to what is happening in Finland, in Greece, in Italy, in, in, well, um, in other countries of the European Union. And, and, and again, to share that experience with others. My school was uh, created 100 years ago. Uh, we live in a, in a small town near Hastings in the south of England. Uh, Battle Abbey School um, had 250 students on roll and until um, 10 years ago um, didn't have any computers or not uh, very performing, uh, uh, no, no set of performing computers then. Um, the ODS started for me in 2008 when I met with Sophocles and we talked about exchanging, uploading resources, metadata, tagging them. Again, the idea is to share and communicate. Um, it's built up from there to um, um, now, um, and it's, we created a, a, a space which I think um, disposed itself very well to learning. We've got wireless access to, uh, in all the school. Remember, we come back from um, a place where we had no labs, we changed them, as and when the ODS was growing, um, this, these are actions are put in place in order to adapt and change following what the, the project uh, guidelines were, which is literally open up the classroom, break those walls, okay, this open the black box that education is, and open the black box that the EU is. And we're all fearful of what we don't know. And, and somebody, again, in, in Greece, in Spain, is not going to do anything different from what I'm doing in, in the United Kingdom, but we've got to, to talk to each other. And that's one thing to doing it. The tests won't do that. Um, um, uploading into other uh, data sharing resources won't do that either. You haven't got that feedback. I work in a private school. We cannot afford to get it wrong. Our students expect the best. And I found that some of the resources, some of the learning scenarios that we've designed, but not only, of course, that others have uploaded and that we have used, have, have made a big impact in the classroom. How? The major impact is engagement, is be able to to, to have lessons that stretch for periods of time using different contexts, not limiting ourselves to the curriculum. Because we can't. Students can access curriculum in their own time. They go on their mobile devices, they go on the, on, on, on the exam board websites, they upload the schemes of work. What's the teacher for? Well, to teach, of course. But again, they could do it themselves if they really wanted to. So there's two aspects there. There's the top end and the low end ability students. The top ends will quite happily design their own learning scenarios themselves. And the idea now is what we're trying to do is to get them to upload them on the ODS themselves. For the low ability range, if you like, we, um, we're looking at supporting them. Use of iPads, use of mobile phones is known to make a huge impact in attainment in low ability students. So it's a combining sort of approach to blended learning in an environment which is conducive to learning. Take away the mobile phones, take away the apps, won't make you know, a, a good learner. You've got to create your environment. And it is what I think the ODS has helped me do. Rather than stay in short-termism, we're looking at long-term vision. And it's 10 years since we started. And now I think we're starting to see some benefits from all this. 